Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it's Tuesday. I was hoping this was going to be a different video, but because I had to go to the post office today, I was hoping a package had arrived, but it has not yet arrived. So that's okay. We'll do that another day. Um, this is going to be kind of a strange video, I'm going to be honest. Um, so first of all, I am very excited to say, yay, us! I finally have reached the 2,500 subscriber mark, which was a goal for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys, everyone, for your support, for subbing, for watching, for commenting. It's amazing. So yes, we are going to have a celebration, but of course this hit during Thanksgiving week. and. Things get a little busy around here, if you know what I mean. Um, so, the current plan is we don't have a plan. <laughs> we, we have, oh, I started to laugh and then I got a little tickle cough in my throat. Um, so, I have leveraged some of the sales that might be about, and I have a very nice yar box of yarn coming from Little Knits. I am so excited. And... You might be saying, Erin, you're not buying yarn. Oh, it's not for me. It's for you. So at some point in the relatively near future, look to the beginning of December. So we'll get through Thanksgiving week and then we're going to look at the calendar and pin down a day. And we still have not quite decided if we're going to do a live or do it in like a video video. I like to kind of do both, but we'll see. Um, so more details coming, but part of it is going to be a nice order from Little Knits, and none of it's for me. It's all going to be given away. I've done that before, and I think people enjoyed it and had fun with it, so we're going to do it again. Speaking of sales, you might know our friend Miss Bridget from Queen's Crafts by Bridget. Did you know she has launched her own website? She has! She has! I'm reading to make sure I get the web address correct. It is queenscraftsbybridget.com. Queenscraftsbybridget.com. And she is doing uh, an event here for the holidays and for... Um, if you're in the United States... If you place an order and it's I feel like I I'm reading I feel like it was if you spent $35. Yes, $35 and use the code hashtag. So you need to use the hashtag symbol winter fun. You will get free shipping within the United States and that's good on her bags and her yarn, and I know she's she's got yarn she's dyed and yarn she's spun. I don't, I believe she's dyeing, dyeing, roving, but I don't think I saw any on the website. Not that I spin yarn, but it's still pretty to look at, right? But if you are, uni if you are universal, <laughs> if you are international, if you are not within the United States, fear not. She does have a code for you. So, winter fun, so it's still hashtag, winter fun 7575 will get you free shipping on international orders. You know that that can be a pretty price tag there on those international orders. So if you are somewhere outside of the United States and you've been wanting one of Bridget's lovely bags or some of her lovely yarn, now might be a good time to check her out. I might have checked her out. <laughs> if it's only two skeins of yarn, it doesn't count, right? <laughs> oh, I can't be stopped. I'm incorrigible. But yes, please check out Bridget. She's got lovely items. You know we all love her bags. Highest quality. I was going to pull out a couple to show you, but I didn't because I don't think ahead. Actually, I think a lot of my Bridget bags are in the whip tote. Are, they're part of 
have Whip Island, <laughs> which has been neglected. Wow. Oh, Whip Island. Oh. We got to get back to Whip Island. Okay, but I've been blabbering here for a very long time. But, I mean, it's not blabbering when you're talking about something as wonderful as Bridget's stuff. The other very strange thing I have for you to share. This is courtesy of Lori, armchair chef Lori. I have a box here. Lori, she likes Etsy. She likes mystery things. I like mystery things. I also enjoy Etsy, but I don't search on Etsy as much because I find I use the app usually, and I don't know if it's different on the website. I'm not sure what she uses, but I am not skilled in searching Etsy. It, it's, I don't know. There's something about some websites or some apps that you just don't have a meshing personality, and I think that's what I have with Etsy. But anyway, Lori did the searching, so I didn't have to, and she found a super cute store on Etsy that sells um, mystery book things. So I'm saying things because I don't know how to describe it because I I haven't gotten them before. I've seen something similar at Barnes and Noble where they like wrap a book and give a little synopsis of the plot and it's like uh pick a date. It's like a date with a book or something. So this was similar to that. She had categories like genres and she had like five different books within that genre and you could pick but it was a mystery Ooh -hoo -hoo. so i got three because that's what i do it came with a little sach sachet of goodies let's see what i got oh that's cute that's cute that's not a sticker it's a stamping. It's a mermaid stamping. I was hoping there'd be a business card in here. But I'm not seeing it. I feel like this was the cozy librarian. Her name is Emily. Oh, she's from the town my in-laws used to live in. Um, that's crazy. I believe it's the cozy librarian. Ooh, organic chamomile. English breakfast. I love English breakfast. Oh, Lemon and orange tea. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's fun. So this is Taylor's of Harrogate since 1886. Nice. So I get a little cup of tea with my books. That's amazing. So this says, I'll show, I'm not going to get the stamping back in there. Here's what it is. So it's a, a blind book date. So I've got this. They're wrapped in brown paper and it says cozy in it. So yes, I believe this was cozy librarian. And I have, oh, maybe I bought two of the same genre. That's okay. So this one is, as you can see, blind date and it is horror. What? So this says, this contains a gently used adult romantic paranormal horror. I don't know what that means. Ghost Hunter, main character, notorious 1950s ghost girl, murders everyone who dares to step into her spooky Victorian house. And tell him. Spellbinding and romantic, not your normal ghost story. What sold me on this one was number one New York Times bestselling author. They tend to write good books. <laughs> so, let's see what this could be. Why don't you put your guesses what you think this book might be? This is fun. I love mystery boxes. And these are mystery books. Oh, what is this? Anna. Aunt, whoa. Anna dressed in blood. Whoa. Okay, so it's got a blurb from Cassandra Clare. She wrote... Sandra Claire wrote, oh, there was a movie that flopped, oh, City of Bones, what's that called? Shadow Hunter? Oh. I want to say Shadow Hunters, is that right? Is that right? Um, anyway, Kendar, Kendar Blake, 
Ooh, now with a bonus all new novella. Mmm. So here you go. <laughs> Anna dressed in blood. That's kind of scary. <laughs> but it's young adult, so it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> Blind book day. This was young adult fantasy. Gently used young adult high fantasy. Pirates, a revolutionary, a raider, a prince, full of mesmerizing magic, political intrigue, which I love, and a cast of sharp-witted rogues. Who doesn't like rogues? New York Times bestselling author. Sweet. Let's see what this is. I'm one... Okay, so before I open this, I'm wondering if this is going to be one of the Shadow and Bone books. No? These Rebel Waves. A Little Magic is Revolutionary by Sarah Roche? I've not heard of this. There you go. Ooh, it looks spooky. It looks kind of spooky. But this was fantasy. High fantasy, no less. Ooh. Ooh. This is a definitely a barely used book. It's a... <laughs> Oh, that's fun. I love magic. Pirates are always fun. Why not? Okay. And we have a final book. Blind Book Date. Young Adult Fantasy. Gently Used Young Adult Romantic Dark Fantasy. Gothic. Oh, main character is sent to a dark manor home to heal an infamous lord. I'm getting Wuthering Heights vibes here. Atmospheric, romantic, and just a touch eerie. Complex, carefully rendered, and utterly addictive. A YA fantasy classic in the making. I don't know. Like I said, I feel Wuthering Heights, but that's all I got on it. Let's do it! Oh. Down Comes the Night by Allison Saft. Love makes monsters of us all. A novel. That's crazy looking. This looks spooky. It gives me Wuthering Heights vibes. The, t the cover does too. Ooh, Down Comes the Night is utter magic. Stunning prose, a compassionate heroine, and the heart of a true gothic novel with darkness at all its edges. It's everything I have ever wanted from a book. Truly spectacular and a must-read for all fans of fantasy. That's Emily Duncan. Wow, okay. Oh, this next one calls it an utterly original magic system. Multifaceted main characters, which you love. And a forbidden romance. Well, you know it's going to be the... <laughs> the infamous lord and the girl sent to nurse him, correct? <laughs> There's no other way that works. Awesome! So, I was kind of expecting to maybe get books I already had, um, but I have not only not had any of these, I've not heard of them. So that makes a really good mystery. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, so I am still reading... Um, the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. When I'll get to these, I'm not sure. But I like to have... I like to read a standalone book in between series. So even in between the books of a series. Because it kind of gives you a break from the series. It gives you some time to digest the series. And... I don't know, I just like it. I just like it. So, these will give me three nice books to put in between because, frankly, I was looking at my to-be-read list, or all of my books I have that are to-be-read. There's a whole lot of series there. <laughs> that's a lot of a lot of stuff to read, but that's okay. Ooh, especially when they're young adult, they tend to... Oh, and this one has really nice big print. So this one is... Well, this one has the novella in it, so I don't know. 
where the page count is versus novel and novella. But the book has 407, 408 pages in it. So with nice, you know, nice big spaced out words. So that'll be a quick read. <laughs> Nice. Let me know. Have you done this? Have you been pleased or surprised of the books you've gotten? Or have you been like, eh, not for me. I like to know what I'm getting into. This is honestly the first time I have done this with books. And it was fun. It's probably not something I'm going to do often because like I said, I've got a lot in the to be read books, but TBR, but there's always room for a few more. <laughs> I, I don't have to get rid of stash. Although we did just have to buy a new bookshelf. I'm not upset. I always believe it's kind of the same idea with yarn. Money spent on books can never be a waste. It's not possible. It is not possible. So <laughs> let me know if you agree. Um, I know this was kind of a weird video, but that's okay, I hope. Um, I know you indulge me in my book reading, and I appreciate that. Um, like I said, I will keep you up to date on when we make any sort of final decision about the celebration giveaway, but we are planning a celebration giveaway. We have the Little Knits Yarn coming, and it's going to be fun. You know we're going to have some fun, right? Next milestone that we're going to celebrate is 3,000. So when we hit 3K, that's the next goal. We'll do another party. We like to party. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!